I go on massive DJ Cool Breeze here once again with another tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to edit beat grids in Serato DJ and this is pretty much an easy way to edit tracks um, that the beat grids are off on. So I'm going to be using this track um, after all by Alkaline and if you notice the beat grids are just random and all over the place. They aren't um, no there is no structure to the beat grids after it was analyzed in Serato. So um, what I'm going to do is actually show you a shortcut how to get this done in maybe about five simple steps. So uh, one thing to um, point out though is most music have a eight bar intro or a four bar intro. And in case of this song, it is a eight bar intro. So um, I'm going to play the song first eight bars and then I'm going to stop it at um, the ninth bar that's when the, the drop comes in that's when this uh, the first verse or the chorus actually starts so I'm gonna play this song up to the um, ninth bar so I'm gonna play eight bars of this song So if you notice the drop came in right right about there. So what we want to do is um actually pause the song and slide it right back to the drop right there and set a cue pointer for reference. A cue marker as a matter of fact. So you gotta also ensure that quantize is not on because quantize will always mess up your cueing. So set a cue marker right there. That's when the drop comes in. What you want to do now is um open the edit beat grid the beat grid editor and clear the beat grid that is there then what you want to do the next step is set press set to set your first downbeat on the um the first drop all right so because you actually want to have the first downbeat at the beginning of the um intro what you're going to do now is go to um beat jump and set it to four beats and you're gonna jump now, jump back eight bars. So you're gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then you're gonna clear the beat grid that's there, then you're gonna press set. Once you press set there, all the um, beat grids should be accurate in this song now. So I'm gonna demonstrate that right now. I'm gonna actually set a cue point here for um, reference. I'm gonna play the entire song and show you where that nine is supposed to come in where the first drop is. So it's gonna be like this: one, one, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, six, two, three, four, seven, two, three, four, eight, two, three, four, nine. So you see where the nine came in right at the cue point. You're gonna go ahead and um to ensure that everything is nice and tight right at the nine. You're gonna actually set another downbeat right there, and then everything else should be tight. Press save, and then uh, for security purposes, just so you don't overwrite this, you're gonna press Control and click in this column to set that blue padlock, which will um ensure that if your library is being reanalyzed, it wouldn't affect tracks with the padlock right there and affect your uh, beat grids. <laughs> 